Welcome to the support videos for a control and workload automation video series. In this video, I'll talk about how to configure SMTP parameters on a control and server. You will need to configure SMTP parameters before using control and jobs, post processing actions such as shout to a mail destination or a do mail action. Let's log into a control and server. Here, I have a control and server running on a Windows host. We can open a command prompt and access the control room server menu using the ctm underscore menu command. You can run the same command ctm underscore menu as a control room user if the control room server is running on a Unix host. We will select parameter customization option, then option 6 for SMTP or symbol mail transfer protocol parameters. Here you can enter the email server properties provided to you by your email administrator. My SMTP server name is mail.company.com. Let's go ahead and enter that. For sender email, we will use prod underscore CTM server at company name. Default SMTP port number is 25, and we'll go with that here. For sender-friendly name, let's go with production control room server 1. For number 5, reply to email. Let's use an email address that we monitor continuously. Once all the information is entered, you can test the configuration with option number 6, test SMTP setting right from here. It looks like the testing of the SMTP test setting completed successfully. Let's save the configuration using the option S. Once you save and quit from here, you should be able to configure and use the mail destination for a shout and also a do mail action from a job. This concludes our Control Room Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.